During their discussion, Garuda was utterly amazed when Kakbusundi revealed that he had witnessed the Ramayana not once, but an astounding eleven times. Garuda couldn't help but wonder how this was possible. Kakbusundi then shared an astonishing secret. He could journey through time. He had watched the Ramayana unfold eleven times, each with unique twists, and the Mahabharata play out sixteen times, yielding different results. However, he had also witnessed the Dakshayagya twice, but chose not to revisit it as it ended the same way every time. This is the extraordinary tale of Kakbusundi, a sage who was transformed into a crow due to a curse but later bestowed with the extraordinary power to journey through time and space. But what led to his curse? And who granted him this power to transcend the boundaries of time? Before we delve into this captivating story of time travel, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Once upon a time, there lived a learned Brahmin deeply devoted to Lord Shiva. His path crossed with that of a young man from Ayodhya, who, despite being an ardent follower of Lord Shiva, was marked by arrogance and ego. This young man aspired to become the Brahmin's disciple but held a strong aversion towards Lord Rama worshipping only Lord Shiva. Despite the Guru's patient attempts to convey that Lord Shiva revered Lord Rama, the young man persisted in disrespecting Rama. One day, as the young man meditated in a Shiva temple, his Guru entered. Ignoring his Guru and his arrogance, the young man failed to offer the respect due to him. While the compassionate Brahmin forgave his disciples' disrespectful behavior, Lord Shiva, incensed by the young man's arrogance, cursed him to become a serpent and reside within the hollow of a tree. Filled with both fear and compassion, the Guru fervently prayed to Lord Shiva, pleading for the curse to be lifted. Touched by the Brahmin's unwavering devotion, Lord Shiva relented. He modified the curse, decreeing that the young man would first take the form of a serpent, followed by one thousand different subhuman births. In these births and deaths, he would experience no pain. Only after these one thousand lives would he be reborn as a Brahmin and attain the grace of Lord Rama, with the full recollection of all his past births. Upon completing these one thousand births, the young man became Bhushundi, harboring a deep interest in hearing about Lord Rama's heroic tales. His quest led him to a place where the renowned sage Lamasa resided, seeking knowledge about Lord Rama. Lamasa, however, was focused on teaching the formless and shapeless nature of God. Bhushundi persisted, desiring to hear only about Lord Rama. His unwavering devotion eventually led to a confrontation with Lamasa, who in a fit of anger cursed him to become a crow due to his stubborn and opinionated nature. Bhushundi accepted this curse gracefully, chanting Lord Rama's name as he departed. Upon learning of Bhushundi's curse, Lord Shiva approached Lamasa, imploring him to assist Bhushundi in attaining true devotion. Lamasa, realizing his mistake, offered apologies and began imparting all his knowledge to Bhushundi. Later, Lord Rama blessed Bhushundi with the extraordinary power to transcend space and time. With this Siddhi, he had watched the events of the Ramayana play out eleven times and the Mahabharata sixteen times, each with different results as they occurred somewhat differently in different kalpas. Thus, Bhushundi was granted immortality and earned the name Kak Bhushundi, signifying his crow form. His immortality granted him a revered place among the Chiranjivas, the truly immortal beings who persist in their original